Good morning. This is 6th grader Alina. It's Monday morning and it's time for Mr. Strout's morning message. It's all yours, Mr. Strout. Thanks, Alina. Good morning, COA students and staff. Welcome back. Did you have another nice weekend? I know, it wasn't long enough, right? Well, hang in there. Pretty soon, we'll have a four-day weekend. We now have only five weeks of school left. Today is Monday, May 8, 2017. I'm Mr. Strau with today's morning message. Nikki, someone's having a birthday. Oh, boy. Yep, we have a COA staff birthday to celebrate today. P.E. teacher Mrs. Russell celebrates. Happy birthday, Mrs. Russell. Continues. The countdown continues to our next school holiday. You now have three weeks to go until our final school holiday of the Memorial Day weekend, where you'll get that four-day weekend I was talking about. Three weeks to go. That's not really that far away at all. Today, Mrs. Meyer and Mrs. Williams' fourth grade classes get to take their field trip to the Eureka Experience to learn more about California history. Did you know that the word Eureka was used by gold miners? It meant, I found it. Just want to remind everyone to keep bringing in those box tops. So far this year, we've collected over $500 in box tops. Our goal is to reach $1,000 to help us with our field day activities at the end of the school year. We're over halfway there, so keep bringing them in. You can turn them into your teachers or at the front desk at every site. Now, please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a motivating Monday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. This is Mr. Strauss Podcast. This is first grader Jason. You're listening to Mr. Strout's morning message. Get ready for some fun and useful information. It's all yours, Mr. Strout. Thanks, Jason. Hello, COA students and staff. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, 2017. I'm Mr. Strout, and this is today's morning message. Hello, my name is Adadar. I'm here to tell you all about this month's character education traits. This month's character traits are poise and confidence. Poise means how you present and carry yourself. Confidence is all about believing in yourself and knowing that you can overcome any obstacle if you just put your mind to it and try your best. Poise and confidence are not possible unless you prepare correctly. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Poise and confidence are a natural result of proper preparation. Show your eagle pride and show your teachers you know all about poise and confidence. Just like our hero of the month, author and lecturer, Helen Killer. She was the first deafblind person to earn a Bachelor's of Arts degree and provide to the world that deafblind people could all learn to communicate, survive, and are capable of doing things that hearing people can do. So show your teachers that you know all about poise and confidence all month long, and maybe you will be chosen as the next student of the month. Thanks, Adadara. Our final character education assembly is this Friday for the second, third, and sixth graders. Will you win student of the month for poise and confidence? We'll find out this Friday. Coming up on May 11th, it's COA's Maker Day Family Fun Night, starting at 5.30 p.m. in Rafferty A's multi-purpose room. Maker Day is a time for students and families to be creative in building things to solve problems, just like real scientists and engineers do. Only difference is there are no directions and there are no wrong answers. Students and parents just work together to build things at different stations. Pizza will be provided to all who come. So come have fun building with us at our Maker Day Family Fun Night on May 11th. Have you entered the new library contest from our librarian, Miss Ina? You could win a cool prize if you guess how many books there are in our school library. The contest runs until May 11th, so the next time your class has library time, try to figure out how many books there are in the library and enter to win. Here's a hint. It's more than 100, but less than 100,000. Good luck, everybody. 
Tonight, there's a school site council meeting in the Dudley Building Conference Room beginning at 5 p.m. All students and parents are welcome to attend. Don't forget to tune into our school and family radio show hosted by Mr. Ivan or Mr. Vadim every Thursday from 8 o'clock in the morning until 8.30 in the morning on 1430 a.m. to find out more about what's going on at our school. Now, please join fifth grader Alexandra for the pledge this morning. Hi, my name is Alexandra from Mrs. Lewis's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible with liberty and justice for all. Have a tantalizing Tuesday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Mr. Strauss, awesome audio adventure. You are a sad, strange little man. Good morning, this is Third Grader Leanna. Welcome to Wednesday morning. It's now time for Mr. Strauss' morning message. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Strauss. Thanks, Liana. Aloha, COA students and staff. It's Wednesday, May 10th, 2017. I'm Mr. Strauss, and this is today's morning message. Well, it's Wednesday again, and you know what that means. We talk about our expected school-wide learning results, and we're talking about those at our assemblies, and they're posted all over the school and in every classroom. Here's third grader Giselle to tell you all about them. Hi, I'm Giselle from Miss Mayer's class to tell you all about our school essayers. At COA, students can create a collaborative and cooperative community. Everyone works together so everyone succeeds. They can be an outstanding learner and citizen. We listen to our teachers, learn as much as we can, and treat each other the way we want to be treated. And they can achieve academic excellence. The more we learn, the smarter we get. Thanks, Giselle. Our character education leader, Mr. Tony, and I are talking more about these at our last character education assembly this month. And as Mr. Tony always says, You can, you will, succeed. Today, first graders get to attend a special assembly all about poetry from 1.30 to 2.30. And tomorrow is the next benchmark celebration from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Also tomorrow is the fifth grade's annual science fair. Everyone will get to walk through and check out all the cool experiments that fifth graders thought about and tested theories on to see what would happen. I bet there will be a lot of cool things to see. Remember to keep using your math whiz at home so you can help your class raise their average usage minutes and progressions to help win the math whiz trophy. There's another Krispy Kreme donut party available to every grade level who wins the math whiz trophy the most during the third trimester. The final trophies will be awarded next Friday. Will your class be the final winner? Now, please join third grader Faith for the pledge this morning. Hi, this is Faith from Miss Dory's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a work-filled Wednesday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Listen with a fresh pair of ears. Totally and completely different. Welcome to Mr. Strauss Podcast. Good morning. This is first grade Mark. Well, it's Thursday morning, and it's time for some fun and useful information with Mr. Strauss' morning message. Take it away, Mr. Strauss. Thanks, Mark. Hello, COA students and staff. It's another great day right here at COA, and we're so excited to see your smiling faces on this Thursday, May 11th, 2017. I'm Mr. Strauss with your morning message. Today is the day that some of you get to celebrate your last benchmark scores with a fun movie time. It all starts at 9 a.m. Today is also the 5th graders' annual science fair. Get ready to be amazed at some of the cool experiments that our 5th graders thought about in their science class and then experimented with them at home. They'll be there to explain and answer any questions you might have when you see them. 
Tonight, it's COA's Maker Day Family Fun Night, starting at 5.30 p.m. in Rafferty A's Multipurpose Room. Maker Day is a time for students and families to be creative in building things to solve problems, just like real scientists and engineers do. Except there are no directions, but there's also no wrong answers. Students and parents just work together to build things at different stations. Pizza will be provided for all who come. So come on out and have fun building with us at our Maker Day Family Fun Night tonight at 5.30 in Rafferty A. Tomorrow, Mr. Tony and I will present the final character education assemblies for this school year. Did any of you second, third, and sixth graders win Student of the Month for Poise and Confidence? We'll find out tomorrow at our last character education assemblies. Now, please join 6th grader Christina for today's pledge. Hi, my name is Christina from Mrs. Zeus's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a thrillful Thursday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. There's no such thing as an ordinary day for Phineas and Ferb, especially when they check out Mr. Stroud's podcast, coming up next on Disney Channel. Good morning, this is first grade Samuel. Woo-hoo! It's Friday morning, and it's time for Mr. Stroud's morning message. Let's get this party started. It's all yours, Mr. Stroud. Thanks, Samuel. Greetings, COA students and staff. Hey, we made it through yet another week of school to our minimum day Friday again. Woohoo! Yahoo! Today is May 12th, 2017. I'm Mr. Strau with today's morning message. Mickey, someone's having a birthday. Oh, boy. That's right. We have another COA staff birthday to celebrate. Today, sixth grade teacher Miss Ward celebrates. Happy birthday, Miss Ward. Hi, this is David from Miss Rayleigh's class. Here's a Disney history fact for today from Mr. Strout. For May 12th, on this day in Disney history. On this day in 1937, Comedy Hall of Famer and actor George Carlin, the voice of Fillmore in the 2006 Disney Pixar movie Cars. How about some organic fuel? Take a car wash, hippie. And Zugar in the 2005 Disney movie Tarzan 2 is born in New York City. Which way to the hotel, man? The character of Fillmore, a Volkswagen Type 2 microbus, has a license plate that reads 51237, which is a reference to George Carlin's birthday. I'm not the only one seeing this, right? George Carlin was primarily a stand-up comedian, social critic, satirist, actor, and writer and author who won five Grammy Awards for his comedy albums. I'm telling you, man, every third blink is slower. The 60s weren't good to you, really. But we all like him best as Fillmore. There's a lot of love out there, you know, man. Don't embarrass me, Fillmore. Ha <laughs> ha! Tell you what, it don't get no better night. Now come back anytime. <laughs> now please join first grader Tim in the pledge this morning. Hi, this is Tim from Mrs. Gunn's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand. Salute and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Excellent. Now let's sing our school song. We are bright.
have a flourishing Friday and have another great and wonderful weekend. And just think, we now have only four weeks of school left. Two of them only have four days of school, and one of them is all minimum days. Mr. Strauss Podcast. Scotty, beat me up.